Hey guys, uh, I'm gonna show you guys my GameCube collection. I'm I'm pretty sure I did a video on my GameCube collection like two years ago or something, but and I'm not even sure if I've gotten more games since then. But that video probably sucks because when I first started. So I'll just show you guys my uh, my GameCube collection right now, which this one might suck too. I don't know. If it does, try not to be mean. But anyways, the first game is Bratz Diamonds, and uh, I actually have played this a little bit. It's it's not fun at all. My friend and I, we just kind of, you can put makeup on these chicks, like, you see this, that girl right there, you put makeup on them, and we just like, we just completely destroy their faces with makeup, like, it was just funny. We, that's, that's, that's all I've played it, though. You can, like, walk around in the mall and stuff, and I don't know. Anyways, SSX Tricky, it's, oh, it is in here. This game's like a phantom. I swear this wasn't in here. <laughs> I didn't know where this game was, and now it's back. I'm not really sure. Anyways, I guess it's Tricky, right? But uh, SSX Tricky, I love snowboarding games. They're really fun, and SSX is, like, crazy. In my opinion, this is probably the best SSX game. I haven't played all of them, but I don't hear very good things about them besides this one. You can do like the worm on your board, like while you're in midair, and like do all kinds of crazy moves and stuff. But yeah. Uh, by the way, the Bratz game, the SSX game, and the next two games I'm showing you, I just got from my sister. Like I didn't actually go out and buy them or anything. But uh, Lemony Snicket's a series of unfortunate events. It's based off the movie with Jim Carrey. You know. Uh, it's a decent movie. It's a decent book series too. I hear. I've never read the books, but my friend told me they were good. Uh, I'm guessing this is just kind of the same thing. I haven't really played it. There's lots of puzzles and stuff, I think. But like, I think the girl is a really good inventor or something. Or maybe that's the guy. I don't remember. You know, just just watch the movie or something. <laughs> uh, Harvest Moon: A Wonderful Life. Uh, this is the boy version, even though it's in the girl version case. You can thank GameStop for that. But, uh, this is the one I played, and then my sister had the girl one, which is right here, so I have the girl and the boy. But, both in girl cases. But yeah, Harvest Moon. If you haven't played Harvest Moon, you need to play Harvest Moon. It's really fun. You, like, you can, uh, basically live your own life, kind of like The Sims, but, like, you garden, and, like, you can buy, like, farm animals and stuff. I don't know. You've probably heard of it. You can, like, get married and have a family and stuff. Okay, now starts all the games that I actually bought. Uh, this game is one of the most underrated games to me. People gripe about it so much, and I have no idea why. And it's Star Fox Adventures. Like, I love this game. This game is amazing to me. Of course, I am a big Zelda fan. It is kind of a Zelda clone, but still. Like, I heard that it actually wasn't supposed to be, even be Star Fox in the game. It was supposed to be someone else. I don't know, but... Most people don't like it because the huge Star Star Fox fans, you know, of the older games or whatever, they probably picked this game up wanting it to be like that, and it wasn't, so they got all butt hurt, you know. And if you're one of those people, I'm sorry, but this is an amazing game. Don't don't look at it as a Star Fox game. Look at it as its own game, and you might like it. I don't know. Kind of like people with Final Fantasy 13, like they don't like it, but they say if you if you just, like, differentiate it from the Final Fantasies and just make it its own game, it's a good game. It's just not Final Fantasy VII, you know. But, uh, yeah. Great game. Play it. And I've already showed these games a million times. Zelda Collector's Edition. Just in case people haven't watched my movie or my other videos, I'll just tell you, I guess. But it has the, uh, the first Zelda, the second Zelda on the NES, and then the 264 Zeldas, Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask. And it also has a Wind Waker demo. And this game's kind of rare. It's a promotional disc. But yeah. And then Zelda and Zelda Master Quest. Uh, Ocarina of Time and then the Master Quest is just the same thing. Just harder and like switched around dungeons and stuff. Uh, Zelda Four Swords Adventures. Uh, this game's alright. It's just like a multiplayer, a little cartoony kind of Zelda game. It doesn't really have a lot of substance behind it besides, you know, having fun with your friends or whatever. And you can link it to the Game Boy version and play it. Wind Waker, probably the most underrated Zelda game. People don't, don't like it because of its graphics. You need to get over that because it's a good game. It's an amazing game, actually. 
I like it more more than most of the Zeldas. I actually like this more than Majora's Mask. I'm probably gonna get some dislikes for that, but this is one of my favorite Zelda games. Tales of Symphonia. I recently beat this one a couple weeks ago. Uh, 52 hours took me. Very fun game. It's just like every other Tales game. You know, the story's great. Resident Evil Zero. Or, wait, this is Resident Evil. I have Resident Evil Zero over here. Uh, it's the first Resident Evil, it's just a remake or whatever. I really, really want to beat this. I have not beat the first Resident Evil yet. I don't know how. I want to get all the uh, GameCube Resident Evils. Right now, I only have 0 and 1. I want to get 2 and 3. I have 2 and 3 on other systems, though. But, uh, yeah. It's a remake of the original classic Resident Evil. Back before Resident Evil turned into an action game instead of a survival horror game. And Resident Evil Zero, I'm guessing it's like the prequel to the first one. I've never played this one. My friend didn't like uh, Resident Evil games, so he just gave it to me, and I was like, okay. Or isn't that Captain 8 bit? Okay. I don't know if you've seen that. Anyway, this is a bad impression. Anyways, that was from the Game Chasers. Go check them out, Captain 8 bit. Uh, Skies of Arcadia Legends. I was always interested in the uh, Dreamcast one, but I could never get a hold of it, and then I found this one. So I got it. It's just a RPG. I haven't really played it, but I want to eventually. Um, yeah. Metroid Prime with the bonus disc of the uh, demo for number two. Which this had to have not been a first run Metroid Prime if they already had the demo for the second one. Anyways. Uh, yeah, this is a cool game. First person shooter. You're Samus. And yes, that is a girl right there, for all of you that didn't know. She is a badass. Uh, JP Smelter just beat this game, and he liked it a lot. I've never really played it. I watched him play it a little bit. I got these at Pawn, pawn Shop for like $2 each, so I just wanted to get them for whenever I do decide to play it. And uh, yeah, so I haven't really played it, but it gets a lot of good reviews. Same thing with number two. It's a sequel, obviously. Shiny. But uh, yeah, there's a sequel. Luigi's Mansion. Uh, this is a really fun game. I got really far into it and I didn't beat it for some reason. I don't know what happened. I need to go back and finish this game. Uh, it's, you just, you're running around in a like a haunted house with like a vacuum cleaner type thing where you suck up ghosts. And uh, yeah, you go through and fight like ghost bosses and you're trying to save Mario. And I heard there's a sequel coming out on the 3DS, I think. So I really need to get this one beaten. Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. Uh, I haven't started this yet because I'm not 100% sure if all the Paper Mario stories go together, and I have the Wii one too, my girlfriend got me for Christmas. And, uh, the Paper Mario games, I'm really, really interested to get into them, but I don't know if the 64 one goes before this one. If you know, let me know, because if it doesn't, I'm going to play this one soon, probably. I mean, it got a bestseller for a reason. So, yeah, Paper Mario. Super Mario Sunshine. Uh, every system has its own Mario game. You know, NES had Mario 1, 2, and 3. And Super Nintendo had Super Mario World. And then Mario 64. And this is the GameCube's version. Super Mario Sunshine. And then, as you know, Mario Galaxy. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's obviously a good game. I think it got lower ratings than all the other Mario games. But I watched my friend play it a little bit. I have not played this yet. I know I keep saying I haven't played these games, but I have a huge... I have a lot of games, so I get to them when I can, you know? And uh, it's not like I go and put, pay like full price like on launch day and then not play them. I don't do that. I got it for cheap. But yeah, there's my GameCube collection. I hope you all enjoyed. See you later.